देर आर मैनी वेज इन विच द मैनेजर्स ऑफ अ टारगेट फर्म कैन रजिस्ट अ पोटेंशियल टेक ओवर्स दीज वेज कैन बी यूज बिफोर द प्रोसेस ऑफ टेक ओवर एंड आफ्टर द प्रोसेस ऑफ टेक ओवर लेट सी हाउ दीज डिफेंसिव टैक्टिक्स वर्क तो फर्स्ट वी हैव द डेटरिंग टेक ओवर्स बिफोर बींग इन प्ले एंड दिस रेफर्स टू द सिचुएशन दैट इज ये टू स्टार्ट बिफोर द टेक ओवर ट्रांजेक्शन एंड हेयर वी हैव आर टैक्टिक इन द नेम ऑफ कारपोरेट चार्टर्स दिस कारपोरेट चार्टर्स इस्टेब्लिश कंडीशन अलाउंग आ टेक ओवर्स एक्विजिशंस बिकम डिफिकल्ट बाय फ्रीक्वेंटली अमेंडिड चार्टर्स बाय द कारपोरेट शेयर होल्डर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंडीशन इन द नेम ऑफ क्लासिफाइड बोर्ड दिस सेज दैट ओनली अ फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द बोर्ड इज इलेक्टेड ईच ईयर विद टर्म्स रनिंग फॉर मल्टीपल ईयर्स सो दिस क्लॉज मे प्रिवेंट द बिडर टू गो फॉर अ पोटेंशियल टेक ओवर द सेकेंड कंडीशन वी सी इन द कारपोरेट चार्टर इज इन द नेम ऑफ सुपर मेजोरिटी प्रोविजन्स दीज प्रोविजन्स रेफर टू द परसेंटेज ऑफ वोटिंग शेयर्स नीडिड टू अप्रूव इम्पॉर्टेंट ट्रांजेक्शन सच एज मर्जर्स नाउ दीज टाइप ऑफ प्रोविजन्स क्लियरली मेक एक्विजिशन डिफिकल्ट इन द फेस ऑफ हॉस्टाइल टेक ओवर ट्रांजेक्शन द थर्ड वी हैव बोर्ड आउट क्लॉज दिस क्लॉज डिस अलाउज सुपर मेजोरिटी इफ द बोर्ड अप्रूव द मर्जर्स दस इट हिंडर्स ओनली द होस्टाइल टेक ओवर्स गोल्डन पैराशूट्स दीज आर द प्रोविजन्स ऑफ जेनरस सवेरेंस पैकेजेस टू द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द टारगेट फर्म इन द वेक ऑफ टेक ओवर दीज टाइप ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन रेस अक्विजिशन कॉस्ट ऑफ टेक ओवर फॉर द बिडर्स because these uh, cost are in fact the higher amount of perquisites and the benefits offered to the management of the target firm now there is an argument uh, argument in this particular case that it actually increases the probability of the take over as the management to resist take over because of the possibility of loss of their jobs so it reduces managers inclination to the potential takeover transaction poison pills these are the defective tactic uh, defensive tactic used by the target firm in order to prevent the potential takeover by the acquirer these are generally effective in making the takeovers less attractive to the bidder for example taking a debt leaving a target firm over leveraged and potentially unprofitable for the bidder the second type of defensive tactics are to take place after the firm is in play so these are after the take over the green mail a targeted repurchase of stock arranged by the managers to prevent takeover attempt a firm buy backs a uh, buys back its own stock from a potential bidder at a substantial premium the seller promises not to acquire the company for a specific period of time so, so through this green mail transaction the happening of a potential takeover can be prevented stand still agreement this type of agreement occurs when the acquirer agrees to limits its holding in the target firm for a specific amount of fee the target firm in this deal gets right of first refusal to the acquirer's sale of its shares it prevents the block of shares from falling into the hands of acquirer that can be the possible acquirer in the wake of the hostile takeover white knight white knight is an individual or a firm that comes in to acquire an other firm to prevent its unfriendly acquisition 
it normally offers higher price to purchase the firm uh, that is the target firm a white knight may also promise not to lay off the staff or fire managers or sell off divisions of the target firm white scare a third party is invited to make a significant invested in the target firm with the promise to vote in uh, with the management and not to purchase additional shares in the target firm exclusionary self tender this is opposite to the targeted repurchase in this case the acquirer makes tender offer for a given amount of its own stock while excluding the target firm's shareholders recapitalization or leveraged it is the issuance of debt to pay out a dividend repurchase refers to the issuance of debt to buy back on shares so these are the two transactions that can take place in case of a takeover the implication for these two transactions for an acquirer is that it offers a higher tax shield owing to higher amount of leverage that raises share price too high so this makes acquisition less attractive for the bidder recapitalization gives management greater voting control than before so increase in control makes a hostile takeover more difficult for the bidder firms with heavy cash use this cash to pay a dividend or this cash can be used to buy back the stock of the firm this means that firm with lesser cash holding loses its appeal as a takeover candidate for the bidder assets restructuring a firm can sell its assets or a firm can buy more assets in the wake of asset restructuring so what happens if a firm goes for selling of its assets the firm may sell uh, its existing assets to prevent takeover due to two reasons the first is that the rise in stock price following divestiture will reduce the target's appeal to the bidder the second reason is that the bidder's interest can be reduced by selling of any of the bidder's favorite division to some other party a firm may buy new assets to prevent takeover because of two reasons the first reason is that the bidder may like the target firm's asset structure as is but with the buying of new assets the existing asset structure displaces the second re reason is that knowing that buying a firm will pose antitrust problem for the bidder so the takeover will uh, not take place as it will become unattractive for the bidder the implications for these two types in asset restructuring is that it in effective both ways as the bidder may sell additional assets in the firm so he can turn the target firm's asset structure into his favor